All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host, Caden West. We're gonna be talking about what is P or what is Pareto's law or principle. It's not necessarily a statute, but it's more of a life principle. And, and what it means, that the premise of this idea was that 80% of your consequences, your results, come from 20% of your efforts or your cause. This is exactly the concept of the flow of resources. If we were to just give everybody everything, it would flow exactly right back to the same people who have the most influence and the, the intellect and the ability to, to gather and to multiply resources. So this idea was popularized by a guy named Vilfredo Pareto. Uh, he was an Italian Swiss e economist and engineer, and he made a really important discovery in 1896. He discovered he was looking at land maps, right? A parcel viewer, they didn't have the internet, so he wasn't, <laughs> wasn't checking the parcels online. But he noticed that the land in Italy was actually owned by only 20% or the high class of society. They owned 80% of all of the land throughout Italy. And so he went about looking at other things and he said, you know what? I believe that 80% of most things in the world are controlled by 20% of the people. And a business management consultant named Joseph Duran actually looked at Pareto's thinking and he said, you know what, hey, this is true for businesses as well. And it's actually interesting because the United Nations actually published a report in 1992 from the census, I believe it was of 1989, the top 20% of, of the wealth in the world controlled 82.7% of, of everything and they controlled the flow of resources and of wealth. And so this is a really interesting factor and, and it's, it makes a really good point. You say, okay, well, Caden, how is this even applicable to me? To me? And the idea is this, 20% of the things that you do, you should spend your energy on time on that because it's going to give you 80% of the results. So this doesn't only apply to economics or to business or to part numbers in manufacturing, but it applies to, to sales and how you use your time, how do you value your resources, and how can you grow as a person, as a company, as an organization. If you implement Pareto's principle, then it can be very effective for getting the best results from the minimal amount of things that you need to do. Because what tends to happen is we try and focus on the cold 80%, when in reality we just need to tweak and change that 20% which is going to give us a multiplier effect with the results. So they've actually found that this is not only applicable to business and economics but also with healthcare that 20% of the patients actually use 80% of the resources and also for baseball 20% of the exercises yield 80% of the effectiveness with, with habits. And so this idea is so awesome because if I can learn, hey, what is my, my capacity of 20% that's going to generate 80% of the results, then I can focus there and put my attention to detail and that's gonna yield the best results as, as much as possible. Long story short, with whatever it is that you're doing with a, a sport, a profession, or in your personal life, learn how you can be in the 20% and that you can control 80% of the things going on in your life. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.